My name is Aisha. I took Technoskepticism for the first time in winter of 2019, and I haven't left. I've loved being part of the Liberation Spring community, and I'm really looking forward to taking Technoskepticism again for the second time in 2020. I felt like a lot of the education that I got growing up had to do with my relationship with technology. So either I was learning from the television or through playing computer games. And I also feel like I learned how to relate to people through Facebook and through different forms of social media and, and through cell phones, through texting a lot. I was really curious to understand how has this affected my life and how is it affecting my generation and in the world at large, and, and specifically, how does it affect our social movements? Something I loved about taking technoskepticism is that I became part of this community that collectively denaturalizes relationships with technology and realizes, oh, there's actually nothing natural about having such an intimate relationship with this little box that was made through a lot of labor exploitation and through extraction, violent extraction of minerals from the earth. And so kind of understanding like the social and political processes behind what has become the dominant way of being in this society is not the baseline for how I have to live my life. And just opening up that space to imagine other ways of being and realize not only are other ways of being possible, but other, other futures are possible. I also learned to denaturalize the linear notion of progress that goes along with industrialization that has me thinking like, wow, there are so many possibilities for our future, so many futures we can create together that, that don't rely on labor exploitation and exploitation of, um, of the earth. It is just so freeing to be able to imagine other, other futures together.